You're listening to a podcast from digitaloilandgas.com. This podcast is entitled Seeing is Believing, Visual Analytics in the Oil Industry. What if a camera could not only record what it sees, but could also interpret and then take action based on what it sees? Could this capability be exploited in oil and gas? Machine interpretation of visual data has been around for what seems like forever. Airports rely on machine-readable luggage tags, those barcodes on your paper tag, to route your belongings through the maze of conveyor belts that connect your luggage to your destination. Modern cash registers scan retail item tags and figure out what you're purchasing, its weight, its price, and any applicable discounts. You've become the checkout clerk. These are pretty mundane examples today, but back a few years, they were considered pretty revolutionary. Over time, these visual systems have evolved to record and interpret other data. One of my more embarrassing encounters had to be when I picked up a moving vehicle violation in Calgary. The camera was dash-mounted inside a ghost vehicle, owned and operated by Calgary's finest, who were hunting for people in my situation. Speeding. The cool part was that the system read the license plate from a distance, looked me up on the vehicle registration system, and mailed me the ticket along with a photo of my car. It should be no surprise that these visual data capture and interpretation systems are evolving rapidly, enabled by several digital technologies that are combining and recombining to create a seriously clever new category of analytics that works with visual data. Cheap low energy sensors, in this case optical ones, that see in all light and weather conditions. Other sensors can read other signatures, like heat and emissions. Cloud computing that connect multiple such sensors to the cloud where data storage and compute services are effectively unlimited and practically free. And finally, machine learning, a technique where software learns, in this case, how to interpret what it sees by being fed thousands of similar images. Add in decision support and voila, we have a new kind of solution that can watch the real world and take independent action based on what it sees. Better still, make it low energy, perhaps incorporating a solar-powered device with an integrated battery for nighttime use, and give it an option to transmit still photos as well as video, just when needed so that bandwidth is minimized. Make it lightweight as payload on a drone, either in the air or underwater or perhaps on a self-driving vehicle, in addition to pole-mounted or located in tight spaces. It turns out that these systems can be taught to recognize virtually anything, from intruders to contractors to wildlife to equipment. Tesla's self-driving car is also based on the superhuman interpretation of visual data, but specifically for vehicles. I've never thought about the world in these terms before. I've only ever assumed that man-made symbols, like the digits of a license plate, could be interpreted by computers. But a system that can take in any scene and interpret it correctly? That's revolutionary. Moreover, these new visual analytic systems, interconnected via the web, demonstrate many of the same attributes of other exponential technologies. Multiple cameras connected to a single machine learning engine mean that each camera learns instantly from the experiences of the other cameras, creating a solution whose learning ability is superhuman in terms of its range of interpretable situations and decisions it can correctly and reliably take. Today, these systems are able to recognize and interpret with 90% accuracy what they see, and they will only get better over time. They will also fall in cost. In fact, they're already ridiculously lower cost than paying for a full-time camera watching dudes in a control room. A single camera might be in the 15 to 25 cents an hour to operate, as compared to $25 an hour for a squad of four guys. Let's say $60,000 a year um, all in, that's uh, salary plus benefits, one dude per shift, three shifts, gross it up by 30% to provide your 24-7 coverage, and there you have it. Cameras are more reliable too. Dudes need bathroom breaks, vacations, training, and supervision. And dudes are easily bored with watching screens that don't change very frequently. Where would such a visual analytics engine find a home in oil and gas? Well, here's just a few examples. How about augmenting the control room? Have you ever toured control rooms of oil processing plants? These on-site bunkers, although the newest ones are off-site, usually in some downtown tower where people actually want to work and live, have the usual bank of operators at the SCADA controls, and sometimes feature camera feeds from key positions of the facilities, such as entrances, fuel tanks, and storage yards. 
Typically, there's not a lot of cameras. They're expensive because they need dedicated bandwidth or optical cabling to backhaul the image to the control room monitor screens. There's also not a lot of real estate in control rooms to allow for too many monitors. There, therefore, the monitors might rotate through several views, meaning something might be missed by the human handlers. But visual analytic systems could monitor hundreds of cameras at the same time and take action based on what is happening in the real world. Only unusual situations would need to be handed off to a human to take action. Visual analytics would simplify control rooms, allow for further consolidation of control facilities, and potentially reduce the number of operations staff. How about improving compliance costs? Oil and gas facilities need to demonstrate compliance with regulations and be able to demonstrate that operations have effective compliance regimes in place. Some compliance activities in some jurisdictions will require eyes-on inspections of assets and facilities to detect and report on operating state and condition. Some incidents will require demonstration that compliance monitoring was in effect and operational. Of course, there will always be some regulations that insist on person on site to carry out compliance activities, but regulators are increasingly open to acceptable alternatives if that might help improve compliance and expand production or lower carbon. Eyes on no longer means person on site. Visual analytic systems with their GPS and date and time stamping, still photos and video are treated with greater confidence than some timesheet that reportedly shows that an operator walked to the perimeter. I expect to see new compliance requirements to monitor greenhouse gas emissions, a task that could be accomplished with camera sensors that can read and record rogue emissions once the camera system knows what to look for. Now, since compliance costs money and no one is prepared to pay for compliance as a feature, companies should be aiming to reduce their cost of compliance to the lowest possible level and still be compliant. Visual analytic systems have it over the human alternative. Next is improving safety outcomes. Imagine a camera system that could look at a field worker and recognize that she's not wearing high visibility clothing or perhaps is smoking in a hazardous area or perhaps didn't make use of safety harnesses or hand grips. The system could send a gentle reminder, such as, please hold the handrail, only when it needs to, not all the time, or could alert the contractor that his people are out of compliance, along with photo evidence. The system could monitor yards, intersections, rights of way to identify emerging unsafe conditions, such as heavy equipment in close proximity to people. Safety outcomes, including near misses, incidents, and compliance with safety protocols, should all improve with visual analytic safety. How about managing field services? Imagine a supervisory engineer who is contracted for services to a well site. Using visual analytics, the system could support the supervisory engineer by automatically opening and closing gates, logging arrival and departure times, and monitoring site activities. This could move supervisory engineers out of the field and provide them with greater leverage, that is, monitoring more services at more wells in parallel. Visual analytics should improve the effectiveness of field services and reduce the friction associated with contracting for those services. How about improved security? The most obvious but probably least impactful use case is in, mo in security monitoring. A visual analytic system could monitor access points to a facility, such as its gates, and interpret if a visitor is wildlife, say a deer, an unexpected and so rather an expected and authorized service team or an unknown and presumed hostile intruder. The system could automatically execute tactics depending on visitors, such as broadcasting danger sounds to animals, greetings to approved visitors, and warnings to trespassers. Security, security costs should decline. And last but not least, removing staff from the field. Some remote and offshore assets still have high levels of human presence. Visual analytics systems offer the potential to take staff, including some kinds of permanent staff, as well as the services contractors, out of the field, which improves productivity of the workforce in general, as well as reduces safety concerns stemming from travel. Combining visual analytics with submersible and aerial drones creates the possibility of automated routine inspections in particularly difficult zones of operation. Visual analytics, therefore, are not going to revolutionize oil and gas extraction and production, but will lower operating cost, improve compliance, and keep headcount from rising again. This should make it good enough. You have been listening to a podcast from digitaloilgas.com. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to future installments 
and visit us at digitalorgas.com.